I'm Lara Veach and um, I was studying anatomy, developmental and human biology, um, mainly cancer biology and genetics. I'm ill at the moment, I have cancer at the moment. Um, uh, I've got uh, bone cancer, osteosarcoma, and I have had a soft tissue sarcoma and uh, an early stage breast cancer, and I've had tumours in my liver and my kidney as well. And my mum died of cancer, and her mum died of cancer, and her mum died of cancer as well. Because we have, we have a genetic predisposition, so uh, I have an inherited um, increased risk of cancer. That's called Lee Fraumeni syndrome, um, and it just gives a really high risk of cancer, hence, especially childhood and young adult cancers, hence having had maybe five for my fifth tumour. <laughs> I'm 27, by the way. <laughs> Just breathe, just, <laughs> just breathe and wait. Um, just, just keep breathing, and yeah, wait until it will like it will settle. The whatever, whatever shock you're feeling. That's that's the worst bit. The shock is the worst bit, and then, and then you 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 learn how to. You will be okay in some way, in some form, if you just wait and breathe. <laughs> the worst cancer advice actually came from a geneticist. I don't know if it was a cancer's advice, but I went to see a geneticist when I was about 19 because I thought that there was a cancer link between the uh, many cancers in my family. And they said that I shouldn't, that there was nothing that I could be tested for. And that it was, that, yeah, I was, and I, was, I, I should have been tested for Lee Fraumeni syndrome then, and I wasn't. And I, the only reason that I found out about the four subsequent tumours since I was 19 was because I went back when I was 22 or 23 um, because I knew that something was up. I suppose that, that, that a lot of people, th there's yeah, just one, one story that, that it's always the same. That like I, having had lots of different cancers, it's it's all every time has been completely different, and um, I think a lot of the time people just expect you get cancer and you then you have chemo and you get a bit sick and then you get better or you die. But um, it's just so unbelievably complex and th yeah. It's not, it's not like that, really. My poor body, my poor, poor body, my, my.